Have you ever wondered how your diet could affect your risk of prostate cancer? If you have, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into the world of prostate cancer, a disease that affects millions of men worldwide. It's a topic that's often brushed under the carpet, but it's high time we opened up the conversation. Prostate cancer doesn't discriminate, and it's more prevalent than you might think. But here's the good news. Certain dietary habits can play a significant role in managing and even preventing this disease. Imagine if you could reduce your risk just by tweaking what's on your plate. Intriguing, right? We're going to talk about the foods that could potentially fuel prostate cancer and those that could help keep it at bay, but we won't get into the nitty gritty just yet. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this topic and shed light on the dietary do's and don'ts for prostate cancer. What we eat can greatly influence our health, including the risk of getting certain types of cancer. This statement holds especially true in the context of prostate cancer, a disease that affects countless men worldwide. Our diet plays a pivotal role in our health, and it's no different when it comes to prostate health. Food can either be your greatest ally or your worst enemy. Some foods may contribute to the development of prostate cancer, while others can help to prevent it. First, it's essential to understand that prostate cancer is largely a disease of lifestyle, and what we consume is a significant part of that lifestyle. For instance, diets high in red and processed meats have been linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. On the other hand, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables and lean proteins can help protect against this disease. But it's not just about what we eat, it's also about how we prepare our food. Cooking methods that involve high temperatures, like grilling or frying, can produce harmful compounds that may increase cancer risk. Therefore, opting for healthier cooking methods like steaming or boiling can be beneficial. Moreover, unhealthy dietary habits like overconsumption of alcohol and high sugar intake can also contribute to the development of prostate cancer. Excessive alcohol can lead to inflammation and hormonal imbalances, while high sugar intake can lead to obesity, a known risk factor for many types of cancer, including prostate cancer. On the prevention side, certain foods and nutrients have shown promise. For instance, foods high in lycopene, a powerful antioxidant found in tomatoes, can help protect against prostate cancer. Similarly, foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like fish can help reduce inflammation and may lower the risk. Diet, of course, is just one piece of the puzzle. Other lifestyle factors such as exercise, smoking and overall health also play a crucial role in prostate cancer risk. However, by becoming more aware of the foods we eat and making healthier choices, we can take a proactive step towards reducing our risk. Now, let's uncover the foods you want to avoid and those you want to include in your diet. It is crucial to know what foods might increase your risk of prostate cancer. Let's begin with red meat. Consuming large amounts of red meat particularly when it's well done or processed, could potentially increase the risk of prostate cancer. This is due to compounds that form during high temperature cooking, which are known to damage cells in the body. Next on our list is dairy products. While milk, cheese and other dairy products are often seen as staples in our diets, studies suggest that high consumption of these can be linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. This is thought to be due to the high levels of calcium found in dairy, which can inhibit the formation of a form of vitamin D that helps protect against prostate cancer. Now, let's talk about alcohol. Moderate drinking might not significantly increase your risk, but heavy alcohol consumption can. This is because alcohol can lead to weight gain and obesity, factors that are associated with a higher risk of many types of cancer, including prostate cancer. Let's not forget about processed foods. These are often high in sodium, sugar, and unhealthy fats. Regular consumption of processed foods can lead to obesity and inflammation, both of which are risk factors for prostate cancer. Finally, we have foods high in saturated fats. These include foods such as cakes, cookies and fried foods. Saturated fats can increase your levels of bad cholesterol and promote inflammation, both of which can increase your risk of prostate cancer. Remember, moderation is key. It's not about completely eliminating these foods from your diet, but rather about being aware of their potential effects and reducing your intake where necessary. It's also important to note that diet alone can't prevent or cure prostate cancer. However, a healthy diet can help lower your risk and ensure your body is as strong as possible to fight against diseases. Now that we've covered the foods to avoid, let's move on to the foods that could help reduce your risk of prostate cancer. Switching gears, let's talk about the foods that can help protect against prostate cancer. 
First up, we have cruciferous vegetables. These include broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. They're packed with potent antioxidants, which help to combat harmful free radicals in the body. These vegetables also contain a molecule called sulforaphane, which has been shown in studies to selectively target and kill cancer cells, while leaving healthy prostate cells unharmed. Next, we have tomatoes. Tomatoes are a rich source of lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that's been linked to a lower risk of prostate cancer. Cooking tomatoes, such as in a sauce or soup, can actually increase the availability of lycopene for your body to absorb. Soy products like tofu, soy milk and edamame are also beneficial. They contain isoflavones, compounds that have been found to slow the growth of cancer cells in lab tests. While the exact effect of isoflavones on prostate cancer in humans is still being studied, incorporating soy products into a balanced diet is a good idea. Fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel and sardines, should also be on your menu. These fish are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which have been associated with a decreased risk of prostate cancer. Plus, they're a great source of protein. Finally, don't forget about foods rich in selenium and vitamin E. Selenium, found in Brazil nuts, fish and poultry, and vitamin E, abundant in nuts and seeds, both have antioxidant properties. Some research suggests that these nutrients may reduce the risk of prostate cancer, particularly when consumed together. But remember, while diet plays a crucial role, it's only one part of the puzzle. Regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and getting regular checkups are also key in preventing prostate cancer. With these foods on your plate, you're taking a step towards a healthier prostate. But what else should you look out for? Knowing the signs of prostate cancer can lead to early detection and treatment. When it comes to prostate cancer, symptoms often go unnoticed until the disease has advanced. That's why understanding the signs is so crucial. One common symptom is frequent urination, especially at night. This happens because as the prostate enlarges, it presses against the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of the body, causing an increased need to urinate. Blood in the urine or semen can also be a sign of prostate cancer. This is not a normal occurrence and should always be checked by a healthcare professional. Pain in the lower back, hips or thighs is another symptom that may indicate prostate cancer. This is often a sign that the cancer has spread to these areas. Difficulty starting or stopping urination is another symptom. This happens because the prostate gland surrounds the urethra, which carries urine from the bladder out of the body. As the prostate grows larger, it can squeeze the urethra and affect the flow of urine. Now let's touch on treatment options. If diagnosed early, prostate cancer is highly treatable. The treatment plan depends on several factors, including the stage of the cancer, the man's age, and his overall health. There are several treatment options available. These include active surveillance, where doctors monitor the cancer closely but don't treat it unless it grows or causes symptoms, surgery to remove the prostate, radiation therapy, hormone therapy, which stops the body from producing the male hormone testosterone that prostate cancer cells need to grow, and chemotherapy, which uses drugs to kill cancer cells. Clinical trials of new treatments are also an option. These trials test new ways to treat prostate cancer to see if they are safe and effective. Each treatment has its pros and cons, and what works best for one person may not work best for another. It's important to discuss these options with a healthcare professional to choose the best course of action. Remember, early detection is key. Regular checkups can save lives. In today's discussion, we have explored how diet can influence your risk of prostate cancer. We've delved into the link between what we eat and prostate cancer. We've learned that some foods can potentially increase your risk, such as red and processed meats, dairy products, and foods high in saturated fats. On the flip side, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and foods high in omega-3 fatty acids can help to reduce your risk. We also touched on the signs you should look out for. Symptoms like frequent urination, especially at night, discomfort while sitting, and lower back pain are all potential indicators of prostate cancer. Early detection is crucial, and treatment options can range from surgery and radiation therapy to hormone therapy and chemotherapy. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, making dietary changes can have a big impact on your health. Stay vigilant, stay healthy.